This is Ben from the Railroad Yard and Hubcap Hobbies. And today I want to show you my latest find and what might be the biggest HO collection that I've ever acquired. Now this was all one gentleman's collection. Unfortunately, he has passed away. Uh, but according to his family, he was collecting trains right up to the very end. Uh, he took really good care of them, kept everything in its original box, and it's all nicely preserved. Uh, now this is actually only uh, maybe a third of his collection. So hopefully in a, about a week or so, I'll have the second half of the collection, and I'll probably put together a video of that as well. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see that. Anyway, let's get into the collection. We got a nice mix of modern era cars with some vintage stuff. Uh, there's some really nice John Deere uh, themed cars with tractors on flatbeds and stuff. So those are always neat to see. And they, we also have some older advertising cars like this Quaker Oats refrigerated box car that probably dates back to the late 70s, maybe to the mid 80s. You got a Tyco Budweiser car. Uh, what is this? I believe that's a, a milk car. One of my favorite things about a collection like this is you'll get a few cars that are older and they've got really interesting boxes with really interesting graphics like this Yulrich car. Let's see what's in here. I think this is a Union Pacific. I believe that is a ballast car because uh, it's got the uh, hatches on the bottom that open so you can unload it. Uh, but that's got a cool box. It's a gondola. I mean, originally it was a kit, but it looks like it's all assembled. Um, but it's a nice box. It's been nicely preserved. What's in here? It's train miniature. I haven't seen this company in a while. Redwood Empire Route. That's very cool. I've never heard of that road name before, but it's a very nice looking car. Is this a kit or is it assembled? Ah, uh, it's a Southern Pacific autoloader car. That's cool. If I could just keep using the box, that'd be great. Let's see. Union Refrigerator Transit Co. That's cool. Old time. Refrigerator car. I got quite a few of those today. Just a Tyco flat with some barrels. Pretty common. Now this is cool. It's a Southern Pacific uh, truck service flat car. Hopefully you guys can see that. On a Denver and Rio Grande Western flat. That's cool see that too often. Let's see, we got an Atherin box. Fame blue box. And if I could just open it. We got one of the classic Atherin blue boxes. Let's see what's in there. We got a nice Southern Pacific Daylight car. Those you don't know, the Daylight is one of the most famous trains in the United States. It ran from Los Angeles to San Francisco and back. The Daylight had a beautiful steam locomotive that was very streamlined. It was painted up in these colors for most of its uh, most of its career. Uh, eventually, they did switch to diesel. Um, however, one of the original Daylight locomotives was repainted as the American Freedom Train in red, white, and blue. I believe that was back in the 80s. Uh, that locomotive is still around. I'd have to do some checking to see where it is, but it has been preserved, thankfully. Let's see. So, that is the first box. <laughs> we got a long way to go, but uh, let's keep going. 
A nice Walther's Southern Pacific Caboose. Uh, an open top hopper with a load. Southern Pacific Boxcar Overnight Fright. Hopefully I'm not making you guys too dizzy. All this moving around. It's a Pacific Fruit Express. Now these cars are great because they traveled all over the uh, United States. Southern Pacific uh, baggage car made by IHC International Hobby Corp. Another IHC Southern Pacific car. Now, unfortunately, IHC went out of business not too long ago. Um, they made a lot of entry level uh, type uh, rolling stock, locomotives, buildings and stuff. Um, unfortunately, recently in the last uh, 15, 20 years, we've lost a lot of manufacturers. Um, lifelike is pretty well gone too. They're, uh, Walther's does own a division of them that they use for their structure kits, but, but really the company's, uh, pretty much out of business, unfortunately. Or Southern Pacific. Oh, and here we go. This is the diesel that was used on the uh, Daylight. Nice uh, F unit. A uh, great thing about F units is there's still a number of them around that are operating. Uh, a lot of the uh, executive uh, trains today are pulled by F units, like the Kansas City Southern. We got a nice cotton belt boxcar. Here we go. Here's a hobby town of Boston, New York Central E7 diesel locomotive. Now this is a nice vintage one. Let's see if it's in here. And look at that. It's a nicely preserved kit. Back when everything was all metal. And this is really cool that somebody kept this so long it looks like it's all there it's very nice got the instructions in here let's see a unit body casting four dollars and fifty cents unfortunately I don't see a date on this but it's just cool that it exists Hobby Town, Four Park Square, Boston, Massachusetts. That's cool. Nice Atlas. Tank car. Into more locomotives now. We had a Proto 2000, which is a lifelike product. GP20 locomotive. Southern Pacific. Let's see. A Union Pacific Day Caboose. And we got a Varney. And I've never seen a Varney box like this, so that always gets me excited. Let's see what's in here. If I can get it open and hold the camera. Inside, you got a little New Haven box car. That's cool. Put that back on top of it. Kansas City Southern, let's see. 
Southern Bell auto loader box car. Very cool. Some Atlas. And here we have a really nice Athern DCC Quick Plug Equipped Southern Pacific. Now this is an Athern Southern Pacific GP40X with elephant ears. Now if you know what elephant ears are, put in the comment uh, section below because I am honestly not sure. I'm assuming it would be the little uh, like visors that go over the side of the windows, but... Um, let me know if, um, if I'm right or not. Let's see. There's a box. Black car in here. Looks like it's got the load of spools. That's cool. That's cool. Cover that back up. Western, Mandola, modern tank car, there's another Southern Pacific baggage. So this looks pretty interesting. The Concord, the Rail Baron Collection, and it says the Collector's Edition. Seems a little bit redundant, but it's still in the plastic uh, bag here. So let's see if we can get it out. Southern Pacific switching locomotive. You can have a little engineer in there, so that's cool. I wonder if that's ever been run. I have my doubts. Let's see. When I picked up this collection, I didn't realize how many locomotives are in here, so. Let's see, this is an E7A Southern Pacific Daylight Colors. That is just a beautiful locomotive. Let's see. Another Proto 2000. This is an SW8. And it's got a different Southern Pacific uh, paint scheme. That's very nice. I've always been happy with the Proto 2000 series. Uh, the attention to detail is excellent and they always run really well. So, great locomotive there. Got a Union Pacific RPO car, railway post office. And we've got an SD50 locomotive. This is also a Proto 2000, uh, but it feels a lot heavier than the last one. It's got magnetic knuckle couplers. That's a beauty right there. To set this one down here because it weighs so much. Let's see. Union Pacific Caboose. Alright. Coil cover. Let's see. And a whole Riverosity Southern Pacific set. Starting to run out of room on the table here, and we still have quite a bit to get through. There's the Union Pacific version. Let's see. 
Concord. Southern Pacific. The Bachman. Pacific Fruit Express. It's an interesting box cover. Let's see. Double Door Express. That's interesting. I don't usually see a. Uh, a 40 foot box car that's a double door. So that's kind of neat. Another Southern Pacific. I'm guessing that was uh, the favorite railroad of this collector. Anyway, this is a Athens Genesis series Southern Pacific. Kind of like how they did the box. You, know, you can actually see the underframe of the car as well as the side of it. That's kind of cool. It's a Pullman. Let's see. Little Southern Pacific. Southern serves the South. Now, this is interesting. This is a double decker uh, Southern Pacific car. I didn't even realize they had those, so that's pretty interesting. Must be a commuter car, huh? Interesting. Is the Walther's version. There we go. Walther's. Tri level auto carrier. Everybody likes these. It's really cool. Pacific, Bachman, and the Walther's train line, Southern Pacific, let's see, looks like this is a Dash 8, let's see, let's stick that over here for now, Baggage car. Pyro, Pyrofex Gas, home of Farm Industry. 33,000 gallon tank car. <laughs> That's cool. Junior Pacific car. This one's a baggage. Uh, looks just like uh, one of the cars in Junior Pacific's uh, Heritage Fleet. Uh, if you saw the big boy, it had a bunch of cars like that behind it. Let's see. Some authors. Oh, there we have another uh, auto loader. Okay. Union Pacific. company. Inside just a 
Nice but basic little Union Pacific box car. My table's getting pretty full, so I think I'm going to have to pause and make some more space before we uh, finish the rest of it.